Hey guys, my name is Messi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm finally painting this and see how it turns out. These days I'm under a lot of pressure and stress because the main reason is that I have a cardiology exam in about two weeks to be straight 18 days. Our cardiology exam in our university is something like awful. It's like when you enter the class for the first time for your first year, everyone's talking about cardiology exam on third year. I don't know, I hope it'll be okay. I want to paint this purple and I want to paint some flowers above it. Not only cardiology is hard on its own, I mean the subject is hard. It has very strict teachers here. I have other exams right after the cardiology exam, cardiopharmacology and cardiopathology. So these days I'm studying just all of it. I need more white. More and more white.
you know, these days, all of us in our lives, especially with social media and the communication we have that changed a lot compared to the past, we know that doing some stuff is good and useful for us. And on the other hand, we know that doing a bunch of stuff is bad for our health, our mental and physical health, and even people around us and our future. But hey, who's listening? We know a lot of things, but do we do them? I mean, I know my muscles are weak. I get annoyed when I sit for a long time. And I also know that in one or two years, I'm gonna be standing up for 20 hours a day in the hospital. But why don't I exercise every day? I know that my health in the future, when I'm 50 for example, depends on what I eat today. So why can't I escape a slice of pizza? and many other things that each of us know about ourselves. Now, doing exercise, eating healthy food, waking up early, these are things that every person thinks about. But actually, there are some people who do these things. They wake up early, they do exercises, they eat healthy food, they study a lot, they do their work. We think that those people are born with those habits and routines. What I say may sound like a cliche, but it's not really like that. Every successful person you see at work, at social media, or in your class, how does he or she do everything when we both have 24 hours a day? These people learn fluent in seven languages when they're born. There is only one thing different from us and them. They build up habits, not excuses. Habits. It's a short word, but so powerful. You know, more than 40% of what we do in a day is based on our habits. More than 40%. We don't make a conscious decision. It's just our habit. They are just subconsciously as our habits, without thinking for a moment about how I want to eat, whether to drink water with my food or not, how many times I check my phone in the middle of studying. We just do that. And that's why creating a habit is much easier than breaking it. Because we don't know about many of the habits we use. When we don't know they exist, how can we break them? But you know, the best way to create a new habit is to start with a very small one. You know, habits that saying no to them is harder than actually doing them. You know, I say, today I'm gonna study for two parts, each for half an hour, or even less based on what you know about yourself. You know, I prefer to study for half an hour instead of struggling with the guilt of not being useful at the end of the night. You know, if you like to, we can see what habits that most of us want to create and we can put a challenge for ourselves like the last one and see how it goes. And we can tell each other every night if you are successful or not. This interaction may make difficult process of creating a new habit easy and fun. So tell me what you think. If you like to, tell me what habits you want to create or what habits you want to break. Thank you.